made Caleb and I some breakfast. We're going to go have a surprise picnic. He doesn't know it yet. I'm going to go get him and we're going to have a picnic outside. Yay. Should be fun, guys. I'm going to make a no phone rule, though. So I'll open this with this because I'm going to have no phones for our picnic. What's up guys? So Caleb and I got back from our picnic. I made some food for us and I took us to the Lake Bar campus and we went and had a picnic out there. It was really nice and really nice to just get off campus for a while and have some fun together. Um, I'm going to go inside and wash my hair. It's wash day. But I'm going to actually ask my friend Zoe to be my bridesmaid today. Um, I met Zoe. Uh, when did I meet Zoe? Zoe joined the dance team with me this past or last semester. So I just met her after I'd already like set on and asked my other bridesmaids and we've become really close and so I want to ask her to be a bridesmaid as well. A little bit last minute now, but I'm going to ask her today and I'll probably actually record it all for you guys actually so you guys can see how I'm going to ask her and her reaction and everything. So it should be fun. Let's get a picture for the Instagram page, Zoe. Oh my God, at this moment. At this exact moment. <laughs> Post practice pictures <laughs> in all of our sweating glory. Let's get one right here. <laughs> my face is so small for my head. I mean, my head compared to my body. <laughs> Caleb already opened all this. He's a liar. He's lying to you all right now. Guess who's editing? He, had, <laughs> he didn't even open it. Guess who's him. editing? You're just wasting my me. time. I'm not leaving this in here. <laughs> we got our save the dates. We ordered them like four days ago. They got here really fast. Okay. So this is a re-unboxing. He's already seen all this. We got some envelopes. We're going to have fun addressing. I wish they weren't plain white, but we're cheap and we're poor, so... I don't know what this part is. That's the... What is it? That's is it them. Actually, that, this is them? Well, what's in this other box? What's in this? That's the label. All the stickers. Okay, fun. Open the... Hold on, I'm trying to get everything out first. Dude, so. nobody cares about how many envelopes there are. <sighs> okay, let's open the stickers first. Let's do the boring thing first. Super cute. So... It says, celebrate our wedding, save the date, and the date on there. And that sticks on the, the envelope, so you put them in right there. And it's going to be super cute. All right, now it's time. It's a bunch of save the dates. I'm so excited. Don't take them all the way off. Just fan them out. Open it. I'm gonna take one of them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You ready? Yep. Ah! It looks so good! You see it? Mm hmm. What do you think? It looked good. Turn it around. Let's see the other side. Yay! Look familiar? Peeps. That's so exciting. You got a hundred of them. Or a hundred and like... What do we have? 120? We had 50. Or 60. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's going because, to the families. Yeah. This is so exciting. <laughs> Alright, guys. We just wanted to show you how excited we were. And... Yeah, now we gotta fill everything out and send them off. I'm so excited. This is the person that's actually come in for us, besides like rings that we've had for a long time. But we haven't actually gotten anything concrete until these. So it's so exciting. We got save the date, we've got names, the date, the location. It's cooking day. Caleb just finished making his tortilla soup 
And Caleb made most of my food for me today because I was stressed out and busy and he helped me cook. Um, I forgot to record some stuff, but it's fine. I'll just run, give you guys a run now. So I chopped up some sweet potatoes and some broccoli. You can't tell it's underneath there. And I'm going to be roasting those with some sauce or some seasoning. And it's just like some onion powder, cayenne powder, um, garlic powder, lots of different powders. Um, and they're roasting in the oven right now. And I made this batch for later on in the week. I'll re-roast re some more of those. And I got a big thing of, what do you get, five pounds of salmon? Five pounds no, of salmon. Two. two pounds of salmon, so not big. I got enough salmon, enough salmon for this week. But I'm going to pan sear that every day. Um, I usually bake them for the week, but I want to try to, but I, <laughs> but I want to try to make them fresh every day now because I'm getting tired of baked salmon, so I want to try something different, so I'm going to pan sear them. Um, what else? So that's for dinner is the roasted veggies plus the salmon. For lunch, I've got a kale cauliflower soup. I think it's already put away right now. Is it? Mm. It's over here. Oh, it's over here. And Caleb made this for me today. It's a huge batch of kale cauliflower soup with some carrots. It's delicious. It's like a curry flavor. It's so good. Um, yeah, we're wrapping up. I forgot to record things for you guys this week. It's been a busy, a super busy week. Um, Caleb made some stroganoff. Here's his pasta for it. And put it some water for me. And he made some tortilla soup. But here he's got, what's in a crock pot, Caleb? Um, it will be chicken stroganoff. Ooh, that looks really good. Yum. It smells good, too. He's got some good food this week. It smells super good. Caleb's got my seared salmon going. It looks really good. I'm very happy. Probably have a week of meals that, like, actually look and taste good. So I'm excited. It's going to be a good week. This is the final dinner that I made. Or Caleb made the salmon for me. It's delicious. And then the roasted veggies on the side. It looks sad on this really big plate. I'm going to switch to small plates this week because it makes me sad to see that I don't have a huge helping, but it's fine. We're going to come in here and we'll maybe give you guys an update on the wedding stuff. If not tonight, probably tomorrow morning. Tori's on her dinner roll. Dinner roll. Dinner roll. She has to lay completely still and I can kick her and roll her and she has to not do anything. So, it's she's cold. That's why my jacket's on her. But it's like she lays on it for a certain increment every day, and it's like longer every day, so that it kind of puts her neck in that position of her tongue and readjusts it. And the idea is, when she reach a certain threshold, your neck will like stay that way for a while. So. That's that. So this is the brochure. This is where you're supposed to be. Nice curved neck. Nice curved neck. And Tori is here. It's like bending forward a little bit like that. It's supposed to be like like that, right? Like that. Or just like that. Tori and I are on our way to register some gifts. We are out and about in a place called Birkdale. Uh, Target first, and we are looking at a cast iron skillet, because I want one really bad. 